It's Snow White Hi. herself. Hello. How are you, first of all? I'm and well. like, what was it like out there with everyone watching this, oh this first look? Well, hilariously, I do not know what they watched. I did not see it. We were not allowed to watch. We had to stand on our spot backstage. So it sounded like they really liked it, which yeah. is really, really exciting. I saw the title card, which looked great. Um, I got really emotional hearing everybody's reactions to it, which was really, really incredible. And so I feel very blessed to be a part of something that seems to be very important to a lot of people, including myself. I know that you've told me before that your version of Snow White is different, and it's more of a 2022 version of Snow White. What did you mean by that? I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Super weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> so, no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because, like, we cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. Um, it's... Uh, it's one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. But it's, it's one of those things. It's an, inner, it's an inner journey that she goes on to find her true self, and she meets a lot of people along the way that, that make the journey really incredible. I know I'm almost wrapped, but I quickly have to ask you about the Hunger Games prequel. I am so excited yes, for you. thank you. What does it look like? How has it been to shoot? Did you talk to Jennifer Lawrence at all? I have not talked to Jennifer Lawrence, but if she wants to call me, <laughs> she can. we can hang out anytime. We're both Dior girlies. Yeah, we both yeah. live in New York. Like, let's get together. I'm obsessed with her. I love her I so much. I feel like you guys would be... I feel like, like they'd be really, really yes, good friends. You guys seem very similar. I, I really so adore fun. her, and uh, and so does everyone who worked on The Hunger Games, because it's a lot of the same crew, and they all talk so highly of her. Um, it's been the most fun I've ever had on a shoot, truly. Really? Despite the subject material, I got I got thrown in, the first thing we shot was the games. Oh. And so I wrapped Snow White, and the next day was thrown into The Hunger Games. And so uh, it, it's an incredible experience. Yeah. Francis Lawrence is the OG. Everybody in the cast is wonderful, and including Josh Andre Rivera. Yeah. Hi, honey. And, and by, oh, is that, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, my bow. Yeah, that's your yeah. bow. <laughs> How is it to work together in that capacity? Well, I mean, you know, it, it's so weird to revisit that because we haven't worked together in three years. Yeah, yeah. And when we worked together, he shot my boyfriend in a movie. <laughs> and so now, you know, he doesn't do that. <laughs> so right. what's the dynamic, you what know? No, it's really wonderful. I love working with Josh. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.